I'm Tony. I'm Rachel. We're back with some more Grim Dawn. It's always you and see the other person's view. Look in the description below. All right, let's let's go into the candle district. That sounds sounds good. Candle? Nope. Uh, steel cap. No, we're past steel cap. We're, we're past we're steel cap. Where do we go? One second. I don't remember the name of the district. This one right here. Nope, that's the sewers. Local map. Crown Hill. Yes. So let's that's go to right. Crown Hill. Sounds good. There we go. I couldn't click on your portal. Be there in a moment. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, press the wrong button. No matter how many hours we play this, every single time I play something <laughs> else, I come into it. It's like, what's the, what button do? I want to go, ah, but except for this thing doesn't go, ah, it goes, ah. <laughs> it just does various grunts. Yeah. Yeah. It's just grunt dawn. Yeah. Grunt <laughs> dawn. Various grunt dawn. That's a lot of guys that came out of the ceiling over there. Yeah, they, they were kind of, just one after another. Yeah. Just lining up. Like, hey, Unintentional phalanx. Last 14 of you didn't succeed. I guess uh, maybe I can. <laughs> I don't think they're thinking that hard about it. That's why it's called Grunt Dawn. Yep. Arr. This is like what every person that ever made a movie thinks that combat's like. It's What's just that? <laughs> people running in and yeah, screaming. <laughs> exactly. To be fair, that is how combat is for some people, however. Well, it's not a good form of combat. <laughs> the the, it's like, oh yes, the the barbarians and the Romans, the way that they fought was they both just ran at each other as hard as they could, and whoever was left standing, they won. <laughs> That's exactly how it went Screw down in history, right? the strategy. Right? Yeah. We don't need no strategy. We got clubs and war paint. There's a really good series on, um, I, can't remember, I think it was Netflix, that was about Hannibal. Oh, and, okay. Uh, the, the whole... Romans and the and Hannibal here come back this way. Okay. And uh, the series is really good, except for the combat. It's still like they're just running at each other. <laughs> they like point the pointy end towards the other person and just run. Yeah, that's that's good. You said you were watching the Knight's Tale the other day. It was the same way too. Uh, I wasn't watching it. It was uh, like they added it to Netflix, so they had one of those preview things up on the top, mm -hmm. and it was. <laughs> It was so comical. It was really, really bad. The dude was hitting the other guy with the, the other guy's in full armor. Uh huh. And he's hitting him with a uh, longsword uh, in the like chest of the armor. And the guy's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and it's like, that's that's not what that's like. I've I've worn uh, Gambison getting hit with steel as hard as somebody can right in my chest, and I've been fine. Like, exactly. You're not getting knocked over or anything like that? No, like, it doesn't feel good. But I'm not sitting there, like, with steel... <laughs> with full steel, I, I would really like to have some of these directors, like, put on <laughs> full steel and actually go, like, hey, I'm going to hit you with a sword right now, and you're just going to stand there. Right. Because that's, that's what you do. Yeah, distributed force. It's like, it doesn't become impactful at that point. I've had my mask get thrusted with the steel, uh, so the... the swords that we use are called federaches they're training swords and uh they're not sharp obviously but i've had um my uh helmet that i wear which is if you can imagine it's like a fencing helmet uh except but for a big little, uh, not as not bigger but more more secure reinforced yeah it's got it's got more reinforced we're hitting a hell of a lot harder so um Thank you for getting a nasty thing. No problem. But I've been thrusted so hard in the face mask that it knocked me off my feet, like feet up in the air, comical style, feet up in the air, and I landed on my back. It actually hurt like hell. Mm. Um, but it didn't hurt like hell because it hit me in the mask. It hurt like hell because I landed on concrete on like just above my tailbone. Oh, yeah. On the ground. That was uncomfortable. But it's like of the things, like I got a little bit of a headache from it. Probably brain wasn't in a great condition but it was it was one of those things that if I didn't get knocked off my feet I could have continued to fight just fine right 
that was a problem of wearing a mask because I couldn't tell the uh, my depth perception got thrown off at the moment. And uh, I thought the person I was sparring with had this sword dropped to the side mm. and he actually had it pointed right at my face. <laughs> And I kind of stepped into it, and he just uh, just gave it to me because I stepped into it. I remember that. Yeah, that, that was not fun. Yeah. Ooh, we missed something back here. Anyways, <laughs> yes, the, the whole point being that... Uh, Highly unrealistic. Well, it's not just the unrealistic. It's comically unrealistic. There's a totem over here. There is. That's why I was... That's what I'm saying we missed. Also, if you're in a sword fight, battle, any one of those things you're running in, uh, you're probably already not in the position to do that, or you're just fodder, and they were using you to do that. <laughs> it was a trap. Yeah, well, it's more like, this idiot keeps running into battle. Well, why don't we just let him run in, and then <laughs> he'll distract him for a minute, and then we can actually do what the real strategy is. You know, the one that's not stupid and having people running in. <laughs> right. Hello. The thing on the Knight's Tale thing was, though, it was like almost like a little kid's comical level of like, oh, ah, it was, oh, it was like over dramatic. Too. Yeah. It, yeah. It was like he was throwing his arms up in the air. It's like, <laughs> why are you throwing your arms up in the air? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that's supposed to be like accessible to kids, like the whole Knight's Tale thing, but it, mm. it didn't need to be like hyper realistic. But it was one of those things where it's like. Tone down the overacting. Right. Even if it's not about realism within the what people would do, it's like you're you're way overacting that thing. <laughs> that was back in the nineties though, wasn't it? Or early two thousands? Yeah, I don't think that's an excuse. That's it's yeah, that's true. I that so is like, true. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Um I I cannot remember the name of the movie. Uh one of the saddest movies ever. Um What was it? Well, Black and white. Oh, Schindler's List. Yeah, Schindler's List. Okay, so are you telling me that people couldn't no, act in those? No, people definitely acted in those. Yeah, that was so. extraordinary. Weird, I went with Shawshank Redemption first. It like, was. It's a good movie. It is a, it is a very good movie. It is a classic. It, it is with definitely. With good acting, so yeah. it, it meets the criteria. I Just for me, like I think it's a great movie. It's a good movie. I've just... I'm I'm surprised at myself for having that one be the first one that, <laughs> that came to mind. But yeah, the, like the the bad acting inside of it, I I don't think the '90s is a. This isn't like um. Uh, 1920 when uh they're like doing uh, <laughs> hey look at them motion pictures. <laughs> That's true. We we move way beyond that, but yeah, it was still not the all 90s, the acting did. Like, That just fit in that category of like there was the the, the '90s movies that were like, um, "Kid's a billionaire." Oh yeah. no! Like, <laughs> it's uh, that sort of category of things going on. Okay, so we've done full circle there. Go awesome. down this way. We're also playing Grim Dawn right now. We are kind of. <laughs> well, at this point, like, so I think oh. we're powerful enough. Completely locked. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Oh, you locked up? I locked up, but I'm good now. We're good. We're powerful enough. We we're, can... Uh, we're powerful enough that the general combat inside of this is not too uh, impactful. We can kind of just mow through. We can, which is nice. I'm very much looking forward to the, the increased um, skill level stuff once we get through this. Yes. I'm sure there's going to be some fights coming up, too, that are not going to be fun. I'm honestly having a little bit of a struggle trying to think of something that's going to be real hard. Um, the last fight in this one's not horrible. It's not it, too bad, yeah. Um, if we ever do Valbury on this, I'm sure that will probably be a pain. We'll, we will do Valbury eventually, but I need to go back out. Can't see doors. Oh. Thank there's you, Minnie. about that. <laughs> I don't see a door and I want it not painted red. Pa painted, yeah. I think I recall that song. Ha! 
Funny he said painted in it. Like, he's, just, he's like, hey, can you paint that door? <laughs> oil base or acrylic? Uh, oil uh, base. It's a front door. All right. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, had to specify. Uh, yeah. Locks. Yep. But it's just funny. I want. I see a door and I want to paint it. Like, are you? Are I, you really? I want it painted black. Yeah, I want it painted black. Yeah. No room for. Blah, blah, blah. I just. I can't remember all the lyrics from it. Yeah. I remember that piece though, at least. It's a good song. It's just funny the the, the painted. I could just. <laughs> the follow up of it to where he's sitting there painting a door. I'm satisfied now. Yep. Exactly. I feel better. I don't want it painted black anymore though, because now it looks weird. It doesn't go with the rest of my house. Yeah. Just go to the go to the hardware store. Um, I need a bucket of paint. What do you need it for? I, I, I saw a door and I want to paint it black. Yeah, exactly. And the people are like, okay. Well, that's not unreasonable. There's a lot of black doors. There are, there are a lot of black doors, I suppose. I imagine they'd be like, all right, how many gallons do you need? Yep. Can, can I get seven quarts? <laughs> seven quarts. <laughs> I'm sure they would be very unhappy with you. Yes, for seven quarts. Can you, can you just put them in, like, the one quart things? All right, I'm going to click the thing. Yep. I can't even imagine a scenario where you do that. Like, that would be a pain. I have to manage seven buckets of paint. It, it's... But when you when you want that door painted black... Yeah, I suppose. You do what you need to to paint that door black. <laughs> Maybe you just... Want to do it one quarter at a time. <laughs> the dude really wants the door painted black. I'd say that the rationality behind the entire thing is not overly thought out. Yeah, that's that's probably accurate. I see a door and I want it painted black. One quarter at a time. That was the... Was that the next line? Yeah, the second verse. Second verse, not same as the first. <laughs> Takes this back around. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is a lot of winding. I'm trying to think about like how to not. This whole place is weird and windy. Yep. At the lamp post, though, they have very nice lighting fixtures in this town. <laughs> Those weren't actually there before the Ethereals showed up. Oh, they weren't? Oh, no, the Ethereals no, no. brought that as part of their city planning? They're like, ah, lampposts. <laughs> <laughs> they like, solar or not? <laughs> they had they had a lot of city council, or city town halls, about what type of lighting fixtures to install when they moved in. <laughs> we, already, we already talked about the the interconnectedness of yeah. the, the buildings. Yep. I want right. to get underneath here. There we go. Kind of a weird, yeah. There are like staircases upon staircases. There, there we go. We like staircases. Ooh, look at this thing. It's pulsating. I don't know if I want to look at it. Most pulsating. Second thought, things. you shouldn't look at it. It's, it's pretty gross. Oh, it is. We got a boss. Oh. Hello. Hey, boss. Valexteria. Um, can you pull them to the top of the stairs? I'm trying to, but they're blocking my way. Oh. I cannot get can you through. Pull them to the bottom of the stairs then. Yep. Come on down here. Never mind. He's just gonna die. Oh, he just teleported. Never mind. I could not move. I'm sorry. Uh, that's fine. I was just trying to get some distance on him. Yep, understood. There you go. This wasn't that threatening. <laughs> Can you move him? Hey, I'm trying to fight you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come that was a weird place for a boss. <laughs> oh, it's those weird yep, sounding things. I just heard that. That's a bad noise. I'm getting into the bad noise place. Oh, no. Those things have been throughout this entire... I guess I just haven't noticed them. Oh, something Don't down even there. notice me. Where are you going? I thought there was something down there, but I, I was wrong. There's things in a lot of places. I thought there was a useful thing there, but there was not. <laughs> there was not a useful thing. Sadly. Things are in places. Yep. I, I would say that a place is a defining characteristic of a thing. Is it? Kind of is. Yeah. A thing has to be in a place. 
It does need to transform. Oh, it does need to transform. That's right. Even if it's zero, 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 zero. Which it, which it should be. Well, it depends on what you're working on. I suppose. You should always recenter your items to zero, zero, zero before you export them <laughs> and line them up along the Y axis. Or else what happens? What happens if you don't? When you import the game, your stuff will be walking sideways. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good reason to do that. Games default on positive Y as the forward axis, so if you import things for like positive uh, X or positive Z or something like that, then it'll default line up very strangely. What? He's supposed to walk sideways. <laughs> it's crab walking. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the boss even scarier when he crab walks towards you. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. then you're just confused. Throws in some psychological damage along with uh, actual damage. Hey, there's a tonic amending. Yeah, sneak attack. <laughs> That's right. Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> oh, when you go this way. It's like the crab sidestep. It's like he it looks like a like the the like very serious sort of boss, but then crab walks towards you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would die because I would be laughing too hard to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, <whoop>. it's <laughs> got the noise with it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're okay. they're coming at us. I just figured. I'd look yeah. At this see, that there's a, there's some chests over here. Here, come, come get some iron bits. Throw a thing on the. Hey, you made it to us, finally. I'm just imagining these guys crab walking towards us and it's making me laugh a little bit. <laughs> these guys, I wouldn't be overly surprised about the crab. Yeah. But it'd be funny, it's like, um, uh, what's what's it, Olgrim? Oh, yeah, Olgrim. <laughs> Olgrim comes up and he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, do 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 do. He's like, that's it. You finally have gotten it. I need to fight you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the grossness in this one. It's like, didn't see that one coming. Nope, did not, would not 100% have seen that coming. I've been the assassin for so many people. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing because I'm crying a little bit right now. <laughs> uh, I hope there's no bosses. Confuse the hell out of my enemies. <laughs> when you're it's in battle. Uh, your views, the way you look, is not what's important. That's right. It's whether you can crap walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get up there? Huh? I can't. There we go. There we go. I'm with you. All right, we need to go back down anyways. I was just filling in the map. Where yeah, that would definitely be a, a confused... <laughs> Paralyzed would be just start, like, doing something crazy. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. <laughs> hey, sorry, guys. Okay. That is the bad place. It is a bad place. I would argue most of the places are the bad place. Yeah. Especially here. Got friends behind. You got a friends behind? <laughs> no, Give no. it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Poor guy? No. <laughs> Buttless. How do you even... How do you you know what? It's not even... I came up the stairs and then I went through the Oh, door. they're there. I couldn't Hi. see the stairs. Hello. There's a chest in here. I see the stairs. I want them painted black. I'm going to need 12 quartz for that one. <laughs> yeah. All individual. All individual quartz. But I want them to be slightly shaded so they're darker towards the bottom and brighter towards the top. Can you make that happen? I need the bottom to be light black and the top to be dark black. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't, that the def, isn't it a defining aspect of black is that it's... No. Isn't it gray once you... Isn't I, light black just gray? <laughs> no. I need seven red lines. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it to be gray. I want it to be light black. <laughs> <laughs> Clients. <laughs> it's not light. I, I want it to be light red, but not pink. Yeah. <laughs> Can you point to something that looks like that, please? <laughs> No, you're the artist. You figure it out. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm not an artist. I didn't go to art school. There's stairs up here. I ran through them. I see that. The doors are sometimes hard to see. They are. Jim Morrison is elusive. 
He's got you, all his doors painted black. It's hard to see. I'm stuck someplace. Where am I? Hi. Hi. You went through that way. And I then did. you circled back to I me I did. Somehow. I was coming to help you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look lost. But you came from a different direction than you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Peekaboo. <laughs> what? Why are you doing that? I'm just, I'm trying to be helpful. That okay. Should be I all think of that's this. that. Yeah. Yep. We got creepy spot now. Ugh. Is it here? Yep. Creepy place. Okay. Nightmares are made of this. Yep. Are we gonna are we gonna do this one now? No, I'm going to find the there's a portal right around here and I'll hit that first. Okay. Are we are you sure about that? It is right around here. I think it's around the corner. Okay. My level of sureness is not very high, but I okay. think there is. Okay, fair enough. Let's see. We'll see and adjust your level of sureness as necessary. So I think it's this little bit of area and then there's a way to go deeper. I thought there was one right before that. Okay. We shall find out. I hate this place. It's Th so gross. This is the 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 semi gross. The yeah. next place is the the uber gross. Yeah, the the full grossness. So it's funny on textures.com there's a a flesh ball and it always reminds me of this. It's like that's probably <laughs> what they used because I can't think of any other legitimate uses for <laughs> for that type of texture than this. Well, actual flesh. Like you still need to do Yes. I suppose. In ball form. In this ball is what it reminds form, me of. But all of them are in ball form. Yes. Textures.com does ball. I know everything's in ball form. It's just weird. It's it's weirder. For some reason, that one is weirder. As and opposed to the tiled floor in ball form. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like the tiled balls. I like the marble balls. I like the wood balls. I do not care for the flesh ball. I do not care for it. That's bad memories of this place. Hey, guy, you almost made it. Not quite. Valgurgal. Not anymore. Now he's all the ball. Is it Murloc? Yeah. Or <laughs> blubber. area up here, but I don't recall if it leads any place. You just shot a purple at me. That's rude. Like, dare slowly you? came over and hit me. Slow at least purples. it was nice to throw the purple slowly at you so you could dodge it. I didn't dodge it. Just stood there. It wasn't going to hurt that bad. Slow purples. Yeah. <laughs> Slow purples don't hurt. They used to. They, they did. Anymore. They used to a lot. Thanks to gear, <laughs> slow purples don't hurt anymore. As well as augments. And, uh... What's if you the like word gear, for this? you can go seven installments of 1999. <laughs> and your purples won't hurt anymore. What would be what would be the get this free for the, the gear installments? Buy one shoe and get the laces for free. Ooh, there you go. Buy this helmet and get this ointment for free. <laughs> Ew. Is the is it head ointment? Like I'm trying to understand what it does. It's like when you wear a helmet, if it, it oh, chafes. Oh. Chafes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> My helmet chafes. Is, is, is. Okay, that circles around. Yeah. Okay. So these link together. I thought there was one before this. Hmm. And here's the north path that links around on this as well. Also See creepy that? noises. So creepy. Ate it. Why are baby noises considered creepy? I like to understand the psychology behind that. Yeah. I, it might not be that they're creepy. It might be that we're especially triggered by that because we're like behaviorally triggered yeah, by that creepy. kind of noise. It is here. But that's what I'm saying is why why do baby noises translate to creepy mm. in situations like this as opposed to 
um, like a paternal response. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Why isn't it the like? To, fundamentally, any noise could be used here. If you heard True. meowing cats, we'd be like, "What the hell?" Yeah, exactly. It would. Why is it that that's having that effect? Yeah. Why is it that a crying baby converts to that where something like a bleeding goat would just be funny? Yeah, that's true. When the noise itself isn't that far off. They do some effects to it. That That is... Like, they... It's not just a baby crying. Right. But there's an old Max Payne game to where it was just a baby crying, and that was creepy as hell. What was the context? I don't um, know much about so Max Payne. So Max Payne's backstory is basically the same as Punisher. <laughs> okay. Like, wife and child gets killed it's the reason why the point of the character is around that okay and uh the part that you're on a hallucinogen you're walking like you've been captured if i remember correctly man it's been like over 20 years since i played that you've been captured you're walking through a thing it's supposed to be creepy but like you see blood steps going as you're going through this uh like all black area okay. but you can't see the path so you have to kind of like as you're walking see the blood steps to see the path or something i can't okay. remember it fully and I then see. it's like your baby's crying in the background and you're trying oh. to make it to the baby because oh like you're supposed to be in your house and yeah it's that's horrific but why yeah you're like i understand where everything's horrific up into the point to where it's like but well, it's just your kid crying right like, why isn't it triggering a paternal, I want to go and help the kid response? Why is it triggering the idea of like, shit, I don't want to be really around scary, here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Psychology is weird. There's a, listened to a thing the other day that was a good podcast. And the question they were asking is, why do we have focus? Hmm. Interesting. Why do we even have attention? That's it is, kind of, if you think about it, it is kind of weird. Why aren't we always just dealing with what's in front of us? Right, right. Yeah, that's actually an interesting... Like, you don't even think about that because it's so inherent, but it's yeah. interesting to actually question. Did but, they have a proposal? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it has to do with... Uh, I'm still finishing it out. Uh, so it is written by... I am going to forget her name. Ah... Uh, do not recall her name, but she's got a book out about it that has been recently released. And I cannot remember the name of the book either. I wish I could. It <laughs> sounds like a really interesting book, but um, I'm going to not butcher it. And instead, maybe next time, next episode, I'll try to remember what that actually is. And I'll try to pull it up and let people listen to it from the actual professional's mouth. Okay. Not the me butchering it mouth. Seriously, I thought there was a portal before uh, this. I feel like there's not. I feel like there there is another level down. I know that for almost certain. Yeah, this is... I know what this shape is. And then there's the, the level down. Right. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Because we're taking out ethereals and trying to stop the creepy baby crying noises. I'm almost positive there's at least one more. I think you're right. I don't know, I'm actually starting to doubt it because I have done this. I can't remember if I had to run from Crown Hill. Or Crown Hill? Crown Hill. Yep, you got it. Yeah, there's, there's the... the hole. Okay, was there anything else we missed? I can't click on the hole. Do I... You have to get it lined up just right. It's like a... Oh. So turn around and walk backwards just a little bit. There we go. It's weird. You have to walk away from the I was too close door. to the weird flush door. Yeah. Don't get too close or you can't go through. Okay, now we're actually in the, the bad place. I can't remember how much more there is from this, though. I don't exactly recall. It's not much, from what I remember. I'm just doing right wall. Okay. Yeah. Boss, left. Yep, see him? Oh, that's the dude that... Turn around, turn around. Okay. He does that forward punch thing. Ooh. Oh, turn around. Got him on fire. He did. 
can't tell where I'm walking. All right, he's down. Yep, he actually hurt quite a bit. Yeah, he does the that thing to where like piece comes out of his stomach and he hits. I can't see well enough to see what's growing on, but gross. Uh, I Ew. remember back when we first fought him. There should be another boss in this area. I think there was two bosses, and then there's the main boss. That's right. Sub Subjugator's flushed wrapped archive of thunder. <laughs> that is a lot of descriptors. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody took a long time to put that together. This is the adjective box. The adjective box. Hey, here's our friend. Yeah, um, I can't remember what we've done before. We have always let him go. I don't know what the effect of it is. Yes, that's right. Didn't we look that up we and there did. was no effect there from was, it? There was no effect at this point. It does nothing. And actually people were angry about it. Because they feel like it should do something. So both other times we've let him go. Should we just keep him in here for now? And then later on, if they add something, we can deal with them then? Uh, sure. Yeah, stay there. Later. <laughs> we'll just leave you in your cage. You've got two options. You can either let me out or we can fight. Later. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Close text box. <laughs> hey, wait. That was not one of the options. <laughs> It is now. No choice is always a choice. It's not always the best choice, no. but it is always an option. <laughs> the best place you could be in is the one where you can walk away. <laughs> and I'm going to walk away. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I am imprisoned. You must let me out. Wait, didn't you just say nope. you're in prison? <laughs> yep, exactly. I don't, I don't have to do anything. I don't click A on you. That's it. I was watching something yesterday. What was it? Um, oh, I can't remember, but it's the, the foul. Oh, there's the Watch. other boss. I just shot him. You shot him? Okay, I'm going in. Good work. I'm going to try and turn him around. Yep, you're good. Okay, he should be at me now. And, and he doesn't care. Yep, I'm going to pull him off of you. It's fine. I'm good anymore. All right, well, I'll do what I can, but you're probably fine. Yeah, I'm fine now. He didn't even hurt me. You can't hurt me. I he, got resistances. He tries to. Yeah, he tried to. Yeah, I remember that being a lot harder fight. That's kind of the, like, I would like to get to the strong fights because I feel like we're... Yeah. We're more than adequate at... Doing this. The things. I do feel more than adequate. like the the level of gear is far exceeded the level of difficulty yeah it's just because we did everything before this yep okay i think that's the last boss right up there that is the last boss up there um Here there is this area up to the north yeah there's it kind of circles back this way i want to come from this side oh i tried to charge towards you but it didn't work i'm coming i don't think you're in charge huh i am uh, because what Oh, beca oh, because charge. Because uh, you could charge. I wasn't. I wasn't fully charged. No. Your batteries are dead. Yeah. That happens. The thing just totally missed me. Ah, I'm found. I'm bound. Found, not bound. Bound, not I was, found. Well, I was trying to walk forward. I was like, what is going on? It's weird that not a lot of snares in this game. A lot of ugly things, but not a lot of snares. So that's the other entrance to... Yeah, that's last boss. Okay. Okay, so I think we should end it and then do the last boss as one just because that's in its own entirety. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah, let me... Oh. We gotta take out these guys first. Hello. Uh, one second. There's a little spot back here I wanna... That way, if anybody wants to see just the last boss, we can actually label the thing around that. Sounds good. It's gonna be like a 30 second fight. <laughs> I, it is three phases if I remember correctly. So I think That's there's true. still some threat to that. And if I remember correctly, it did hit fairly hard. Yeah, I think you're right. 
there's that portal that takes us out, if I remember correctly. I believe it takes us out. Okay, that is the, the heart. The heart. Oh, I don't recall what needs to happen in what order. So I'm going to just say here, I'm going to throw it on the portal. Okay. And then let's end it here in the next one. We figure out the whole piece that goes to that. Because I think you have to go in the heart and open the heart in order for it to oh. open the doors in the other place. But I don't remember for sure. I think you're right. All right, we're going to end it here and we'll be back shortly. Well, for you, it'll be next week at uh, doing the final boss in Melmoth. We'll see everybody then. Bye.